President Trump will land in Vietnam soon for his highly anticipated second summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Before he left the United States, the president said he's not in a rush to get North Korea to give up its nuclear weapons, as long as there are no tests. Kim arrived in Vietnam several hours ago after a two-and-a-half-day train ride through China. People lined the streets to get a look at the first North Korean leader to visit in more than 50 years. Ben Tracy is in Vietnam's capital of Hanoi, where the summit will be held. Ben, good morning. Good morning. So this has been billed as a two-day summit here in Vietnam, and the White House now says that President Trump will meet Kim Jong-un here in Hanoi Wednesday night for dinner. Their official summit meetings will take place then on Thursday. But since he arrived first, so far, it's been the Kim Jong-un show. When the North Korean leader arrived in Vietnam, he was wearing a black suit and a big smile. Kim Jong-un seemed relieved to be done with his 60-hour train ride from Pyongyang. Once inside his armored Mercedes, he even rolled down the window. The dictator, known for starving and killing his own people, looked like a seasoned politician. When he arrived at his hotel in Hanoi, North Korean security agents left nothing to chance. A bellman tells CBS News that all of Kim Jong-un's food, cooking supplies, and even forks and knives were brought in from North Korea. But what he's willing to do without is the question of this summit. Will North Korea take any concrete steps towards denuclearization? Before leaving Washington, President Trump previewed the argument he'll make to Kim. We want denuclearization, and I think he'll have a country that will set a lot of records for speed in terms of an economy. Kim Jong-un desperately wants relief from crippling economic sanctions, but he doesn't yet seem willing to trade his nuclear weapons to get it, even if it would improve the lives of his impoverished people. But I think North Korea also needs to understand that they can't eat nuclear weapons. Chun in bum is a former lieutenant general of the South Korean army. Do you really believe North Korea, after all this time and all this money, is actually going to give these weapons up? I personally think that it's going to be a hard process. But even if they decide to do so, it's going to take 15, 20 years. In what appears to be a case of seriously bad planning, it turns out that the hotel where the White House press corps was assigned to work from here in Hanoi is also the hotel where Kim Jong-un is staying. When he arrived this morning, all of the journalists were kicked out, and the hotel says that North Korean security agents are now in charge. Well, they're really interesting details here. I've never heard anyone talk about eating a nuclear weapon. Ben Tracy in Vietnam, thank you.